hydraulic mechanical brake calipers. We've talked about them before. What's different? What's the same? With the TRP High Road and the Origin 8 Vice. Today on Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me. We've already made individual videos about the TR TRP High Road and the Origin 8 Vice separately. So we're just going to post those links above. I suggest you watch both of those before you continue with this video. This video is strictly going to be comparing them side by side on what they do and what they don't do. I've made this chart to try to help break down the differences. We're going to list them and compare them based on pricing and availability, the weight, fitment and options, serviceability and maintenance, and the overall braking power and feel. I'm sure if we got nitpicky, we could come up with a bunch of different categories, but I feel that those are the main ones that uh, really separate the why you would buy one product over another or if it's just a dead draw. We'll find out. Let's see what happens. To start off the comparison, we're going to go with pricing and availability. Origin 8, Vice, $119.99 retail price. TRP High Road, $124.99. Both of these are available from your local bike shop through JBI and various sources online. So we're going to go ahead and give the nod to the Origin 8. Second category for the comparison is the weight. We're just going to weigh the calipers themselves, not any of the cables or levers that you might use because that is specific to your setup. So the Origin 8 vice goes with a weight of 140. sitting right at 140 grams for the Origin 8 vice. The TRP High Road weighs in at Toggling between 220 and 210, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and we'll say 210 grams. So, that gives us the check mark to Origin 8. Third category is Fitment and Options. Now, as you can see, the ones that I have here are both post mount. Both manufacturers offer these in post mount and the more modern flat mount that you'll see on some road bikes cyclocross, adventure, and even some of the modern BMX bikes. Now, Origin 8 offers a specific road and a specific mountain bike part number. The main difference between these two is the length of cable pull needed to actuate the brake. Road bikes require, road bike levers have less cable pull than mountain bike, that's why you need the different part numbers. Origin 8 only offers these in post mount and flat mount with only one designation there is no mountain bike or road these are designed to work especially with 11 speed road brake levers so the fitment there mm, we're gonna have to go that with origin 8 even though the trp also offers a silver option i'm gonna go with function over form and we're gonna go with origin 8 gets the check mark on this one fourth category serviceability and maintenance both of these systems are mineral oil system, so even there. The Origin 8 is a sealed hydraulic system. That means there is no reservoir, there is no expansion tank. That is probably also why it is a lighter unit, because it does not have this reservoir. So it is a hydraulic unit, but it is a non-self-adjusting unit. The TRP with the reservoir is a hydraulic unit that self-adjusts for pad wear um, so the downside is it's a little heavier. The upside, it has a little bit extra uh, serviceability and uh, usability to it. Now, they both have a tool-free cable adjustment. The vise is on the piston rod itself. The TRP uses a regular cable ferrule adjust. Now, both of these use existing brake pad designs. Each manufacturer makes their own brake pads and uh, organic semi-metallic centered 
but they also use existing Shimano designed brake pads. The TRP uses an M525. The Origin 8 uses an M975, I believe it is. Uh, I think that's the older uh, XTR pad. So no matter where you're at, whether you can get the original TRP or Origin 8 brake pads, or if you need to go aftermarket or with uh, Shimano, almost any bike shop out there should have either of these pads in stock, so that's a draw. Overall, serviceability, we're gonna have to go with the TRP on this one because of that reservoir design and the self-adjustment. Okay, the last part, braking power and feel. I thought I had a pretty good idea how both of these calipers acted. I've rode them for uh, quite some time now, and then I made two realizations. One, I had different brake cables for the front and the rear brake. One was a compressionless, one was not, which drastically changes how cable-operated brakes act. Two is the Origin 8 vice caliper comes from the factory with, a, with an organic brake pad. The TRP comes with a semi-metallic. So, got in contact with them. Um, Origin 8 was nice enough to send over a complete set of compressionless slick brake housings for the front and rear. This is going to even the odds on that so I can re begin testing again. And they sent over a semi-metallic brake pad set for the vice caliper so I can have as many things even as possible and we're just testing the calipers versus each other not the different compounds. Some of you may not like that because you're saying the Origin 8 comes with an organic pad, it should be tested like that. So, if you're not a fan of what I'm doing right now, well, you've already watched the video this far. You might as well just finish it, and then let me know when you come up with your video of how you're going to compare these, and we'll go with that maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm just about finished getting the bike back together, getting the brakes put on, getting the new cables put in. So... I wanted to show you why compressionless housings make such a big difference. In my left hand is the standard brake housing, in my right hand is the compressionless. Using the same amount of force, you can see how much more flexible the standard housing is. All right, let's get a close up so you can see the inside of one of these and see why it does that. Okay, starting off, this is the standard brake housing. As you can see, very flexible. You can curl it, twist it, very pliable. When we strip back the outer layer you can see that the inside is pretty much one continuous piece of metal wrapped around a core that the brake cable slides in. And for this reason certain applications might like this cable because they need the flexibility but with this coiled design it adds a lot of compression meaning that it uh, acts almost like a spring. It can compress and expand. The compressionless housing, not flexible, does not want to bend, nearly impossible to twist. And when we strip back the outer coating, underneath it is wrapped with Kevlar fiber. There is a plastic nylon liner tube holding it together. And you can see all the wires are wrapped. It's like a linear longitudinal wrap. This is why it's so stiff. Instead of one continuous wire, it is many wires and a very slow twist to make a tube over a nylon sheath. So it's very stiff, does not expand or contract, does not want to move. It wants to do one thing and that as a brake cable and that is transfer the power to the other end. Hopefully that makes sense to you as why compressionless housing are better than standard brake cables. So if you have a bike that's using a cable operated brake, be it a hybrid caliper like this, a fully mechanical disc caliper, or linear cantilever brakes, uh, rim brakes, do yourself a favor, upgrade from the standard housing to a compressionless. Origin 8 offers some nice kits that include everything you'll need, the housing, the cable, cable ends, and some uh, frame protection pieces. Uh, you won't regret it and I promise you there will be an increase in performance. All right, we're gonna finish up getting the bike together, getting the housings put on this, and we're gonna go for some test rides.
Earlier it was mentioned that the Origin 8 is available in a road and a mountain version and the TRP High Road is only available in one version and that the difference between them all was the amount of cable pull. Now that I have them installed with these housings, I can show you with the brake levers what I mean by that. This brake is the Origin 8 vice and I have the road model caliper, not the mountain bike because I knew I was going to be running it with a shorter throw lever. And you can see that is how that is how much cable pull the brake has. Doesn't bottom out nice and tight. This brake lever is hooked up to the TRP high road. And as you can see, the brake lever almost bottoms out. It has a lot more cable pull to it. Now this isn't any tricks. I have both brake cables adjusted. So there's just a little bit of play in the cable. So there's hardly any slack. So that way we are just showing the amount of cable play. Let me get a close up. Okay, now we're a little more close up on the brake lever that is hooked to the Origin 8 Vice Road. That is how much cable movement and cable pull we have there. Nice tight feel. And here we are close up on the brake lever that is hooked to the TRP High Road. Much more cable pull as these were specifically designed for 11 speed road brake levers and newer, which have longer amount of cable pull. So keep that detail in mind about the length of the cable pull, uh, depending on your bike setup and what you're converting on if you're going to need the shorter road length cable pull or if the longer cable pull of the Origin 8 Mountain or the TRP High Road will fit your uh, bike. You know, if you're, if you're going to be using flat lever bars or you're going to be using drops, it can be a de uh, make or break situation whether you actually have enough movement. So just pay attention to that. I'm not going to tell you which one I prefer or which one's better because it just depends on your setup on what the best choice is for you. Okay, we're coming down to the end of this. So far, we've talked about pricing and availability, the weight, fitment and options, serviceability, maintenance, and last, now we have brake power and feel. Now, regular trail riding, taking it on the road, uh, they both have uh, pretty good modulation, very good uh, initial grab because of the hydraulic system over like the standard cable. Uh, so they, they have like a nice bite to them. They both have a predictable feel as you go through the lever and apply more power. Overall power, the TRP does take the cake. Uh, not saying the Origin 8 is down on power, it has about 85%. Um, it was only really at the very end, the little last bit of lockup um, that it lost out on. I wouldn't hesitate to use either of them. I'm actually quite a big fan of both of them. I'm gonna, they're going to be living on the slope bike, probably put my gyro setup back on. And uh, if you see me out and want to take a look at them, come on over, take a look. But for brake power and feel, the vote does go to the TRP. Now going by this list, price, weight, fitment and options, go to the Origin 8. Serviceability, brake power, go to the TRP. So you have to ask yourself what it is you want and what it is you're looking for. Keep in mind with the fitment and options that uh, the TRP might not fit your setup at all, depending on what brake levers you're using. Uh, so that uh, defaults you over to the Origin 8. Like I said, they're both good choices. So you make the decision on which one you think is better. Going by this set of standards, the Origin 8 wins the overall test. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this one. I hope you find this uh, information useful. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for this episode. We'll see you out there.